Most people in America are familiar with the entire concept of the retail experience. They've been experiencing it since the time they were age two or three when they went to the store, probably with their parents or friends or other people and more. My point is in telling you this is that there is a standard in our industry of how people are served. Whether we're a restaurant or whether we're a fast food place or whether we're a shopping center or whether we're a little convenience store or whether we're a budget place, there is an appropriate standard of operation that is sort of benchmarked. And if you're not familiar with the term benchmarking, you can look it up, but it's basically the best practices of an industry and of a profession and how to handle just about everything has been studied and perfected. And companies then pick and choose what they like for their own organizations, and that's usually what they deliver across to you and people like me in organizational training on behalf of their company and their corporation and their organization. Now the reason that I keep talking in these different terms is because everyone has a different vocabulary set, but at the same time you must recognize that your company at the local space also has a corporation behind it and the national space. And openly, an international organization has different laws and different rules they must follow in terms of what they're importing and exporting into their national corporation. As you know, many of our products do not come from America in terms of their development. Manufacturing is America Inc. So we're just going to remind you of that. But as we talk about professional standards of conduct, what I'm going to talk to you about is what is and isn't acceptable on the job. You may not mouth off to customers, you probably are aware of that, and yet every year employees get smacked and fired for doing just that. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is to create yourself some life balance out of your home before you get in the car, before you take your walk to work, and start putting your mind in the game of getting into the job every day. What that means is you have to each find a way to feed yourself appropriately to your own cellular health so that you are in a proper mood every day. At the same time, I want you to think about reading some sort of book or watching some sort of footage or doing something in music to get your soul uplifted for the day. Beyond that, when you're on this job, we expect you to be in a jovial, helpful, and not a flippant, attitudinal mode and mood. And what I mean is that people will come at you from all walks of life and all types of education and you need to be prepared to listen. Because the gift of listening is what we do in our shop. We will of course have regular customers and this is a point you must grasp. What is the number one function of business? Every business across America has a simple function and that function is to get and keep or maintain customers. Create loyal clients. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, isn't it? Your job as a representation of our company locally and a representation of our corporation globally and a representative of our vendors is to get and keep customers. 